We know from social media that you guys are really missing our in-flight food and our beautiful lounge food. So what I'd love to do is present some of our signature dishes for you and the recipes will be available and you'll be able to cook up a storm at home. So one of the great dishes and it has a fantastic history, it was one of the first kind of east-west dishes I did at Rockpool right back in 1989. It was on the opening menu and it is the Spanner Crab Omelette. It's so perfect. It's eggs that I'm going to break in here, crab, the so seasoning is oyster sauce, soy and sesame, bit of palm sugar, really the flavours of the Orient, a little bit of uh, broth that I'm making with chicken stock and I'm going to season it up. You'll see how it comes together, but it's a really simple, delicious dish and with rice, it's fantastic. So the starting point is the veg that's going to go in with the crab. So I've got some Chinese chives, I'm just going to chop in half that have been washed, some spring onions, I'm just going to chop up and then julienne of snow peas. So snow peas are great raw. Most of these things, you know, are pretty crispy. So we're only gonna cook them for a few seconds when we cook them in the pan. So to make the broth uh, that goes around the omelet, we've got chicken stock going in. And as you can see, this induction is pretty powerful. So I'll just turn it down. And the chicken stock's got a nice neutral flavor with some body. So we just want to add some flavor to it. Got some palm sugar for sweetness. A little bit of yellow bean soy or mushroom soy or just normal soy sauce is fine. That gives a nice saltiness. And then we've got what I like to call the taste of the Orient. So just a few drops of sesame oil. And that, every time I smell that, I really smell that beautiful fragrance you get when you're in Asia. Get to get that palm sugar to melt. Yeah, great fragrance. And that's perfect, just a really nice balance of salty sweet and that beautiful fragrance of the Orient. So we're just gonna keep that warm and move on to the vegetables. Now we're gonna saute the vegetables which go inside the omelette with the crab. A Little bit of oil, get that really nice and hot because we want this to happen quite quickly. And then we get the snow peas. And the chives, you can hear that starting to sing a little bit. And as soon as they do, I'm going to add a little tiny bit of soy to that. This process is really just about softening. And then the bean sprouts go in. And again, it's just about softening a little bit. A little bit more soy, just a tiny bit more oil. And you don't have to be too pedantic about this. This is just really just taking the rawness out of it. Straight in the cupboard for a bowl. And there you can see, like it's just nice and glazed. It's seasoned up a little bit. And that's going to be fantastic stuffing for when we cook our omelette. Okay, so now it's really just the omelette. So four eggs, straight in. I've got my wok over there with a cup of oil, vegetable oil heating up. And in the minute I'm gonna turn it up, I've got some really good heat in there because the whole key to this omelette is an amazing crust on the outside. And that happens because I get massive amounts of heat, get it really, really smoking. Just beat this up a little bit. Get ready, because it happens quite quickly. So, beautiful crab meat down through the center. This is gonna be the stuffing of my omelet. And over here, I'm just gonna turn this wok burner up to max. So, remember, Smoking is really important and it's absolutely, if it's not super hot, the egg soaks up all the oil 
rather than throwing the oil out to the side and going super crispy and brown. You'll see what I mean when I pop it in. Let's come over here. Get ready for this to really smoke up. You can just see the oil just starting to crack. I'm just getting up 140, 150. Uh, and I really wanted it about 190. It's starting to come up there now. You can see if I just throw a little bit of egg in there, nothing much happens. It's just popping to the top. Not ready yet. The wok, it's a little bit dirty on the outside actually, which is why it's smoking a little bit, but the oil itself isn't smoking. And what we want to do is make sure this will happen really quick. Keep the camera on the wok when this happens because it's fast when it goes. Starting to get there. Going to grab a spatula. And another bowl so I can drain the oil later. Really important because we don't want to be putting oil down into the water table in our beautiful city. We want to make sure that we're really doing things sustainably. Starting to brown up, starting to get there, starting to smoke. This is the whole, the whole key to this is exactly what's going to happen now and you'll see why it's so important for that oil to be super hot and I would say that all the things that you do with this omelet, this is the one thing that you cannot miss out on. And it's starting to come up now. Just about ready to go. And yeah, I think we'll give it a little whirl. You can see it's crackling away, puffing up, souffleing, pushing it around. Look at that, that's looking really, really good. And so now, I'm just putting my stuffing through the center. And the wok is working its magic. You can see there I'm getting some nice color. Putting those eggs all the way through. Nice color. I want a bit more color than that. Yeah, nice and brown on top. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this color. So that's beautiful. Nice and brown. That gives a fantastic firmness to the outside. My texture is so important in Asian cooking. Now, this is the trick, right? I'm going to flip it over like that. And you can see that I've got just about as much oil as I had when I started. You just squeeze it. So you don't get this kind of greasy, greasy omelette. This is really beautiful. So the more you press it, the more we get the oil out. And then I'm just gonna actually leave it like that for a few seconds on the heat, turn the heat down. That's gonna just absolutely just sort of morph up through all that beautiful crab meat. And there you go. That is like looking really good. Right out onto there. I've got a plate. Now what I'm gonna do is make a really beautiful little torpedo. Now, the Qantas and the restaurants, right, we've cut the edges off just to make it look a little bit smarter. But when you're at home, you don't really need to do that because you wanna get all of that is worth eating and it's all super delicious. So, straight on the plate. Any crab meat that's left over, just up and underneath. And then, straight over with our broth. I'm telling you, this is one of the most super delicious things you can ever eat. We've been making it for 32 years at the restaurant and it's inspired by those beautiful classic Thai and Chinese omelets where you get this incredible crust. So there you go, one of our signature in-flight dishes, also on the lounges, but for me, rice, bit of green veg, I'm absolutely in heaven.